Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. All right, the good news is that severe weather won't keep you up overnight tonight. However, a few rumbles of lingering thunder, flashes of lightning, a little rain out there possibly could, though. The severe weather is all over with. Notice we have no longer any severe weather watch watches or watch boxes in effect across the area. Just a general soaking rain taking place across the area as I speak. Here's a closer in inspection within the metro, the 275 loop. You can see a few older flashes of lightning being detected on the radar, and that's probably what you're going to get overnight tonight. This I like to refer to as good sleeping weather, really few general rumbles of thunder out there as these uh, downpours begin to wrap up. But a good soaking rain from Mount Orb to Georgetown over towards Brooksville and Falmouth. I know some of these areas did experience three, four inches of rain earlier this evening when we were seeing some localized areas of flash flooding. The good news is that with this rain coming down, this is not going to make the situation any worse out there right now. Again, these rains not quite heavy enough to prompt flash flood warnings. Even better news, the back edge of the rain coming up on southeast Indiana. So it looks like most of this will wrap up, say, 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning. Let's get to your weather headlines tonight because this week, a more active storm pattern than we've seen as of late. Expect on and off storms as we go through the end of the week and into the weekend. Occasionally, a few of the storms could be severe. Right now, I'm watching Thursday and then again the weekend. And as I mentioned, the weekend, yeah, it looks like a soggy pig right now. We're talking about the flying pig on Sunday morning. The main event looks like it could be quite wet. Here's a live look from high atop Karoo Tower out there tonight, and you can see plenty of rain still coming down. Raindrops on the camera lens as we speak at 61 right now at the airport. We've got ourselves a west wind out there at around 7. There is some cooler air tonight sneaking its way down through north central Ohio. Check this out. Today we made it up into the low 80s. They're now down into the 50s in Dayton and Columbus, even 40s north of I-70. This cooler air is right along a what we call a stationary front, and it's going to move or kind of oscillate north and south over the next couple of days, but it will also serve as a focal mechanism for showers and storms as we go through the week as well. So you can see what happens here. We've got one cluster cruising along this front right now. I think tonight the front heads south and with some more stable air in place for tomorrow, I don't think we have to worry about severe thunderstorms. We'll probably have some additional rain though. Here's a look at future cast. You can see 3 4 a.m. Those rains begin to come to an end. It should be dry by the time you start your morning commute tomorrow. We'll have more clouds early in the day, thus temperatures won't get quite as warm. This model pretty much keeps us dry all day, but I do think during the afternoon into the evening hours tomorrow, there could be some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Uh, I don't think it's going to be as severe or as strong as it was today, but the idea is that we keep on and off on again rain through the week here. It looks like for sure tomorrow night, I think we'll have another round of storms. And as that front goes north on Thursday, we'll probably be into some warmer air. And I think this is evident. It's Thursday afternoon of what will likely be another round of severe weather moving through here during the afternoon and evening on Thursday. That's something to keep an eye on as we time and kind of track these multiple rounds and clusters of storms. So rain eventually fades overnight tonight after midnight. Call it 3 or 4 a.m. will drop to about 57 for a low and then for tomorrow scattered downpours. Cooler day. Notice with a high of around 70, the atmosphere won't be quite as volatile and unstable. So that's why I say tomorrow I'm not really worried about severe weather. We'll start near 60 at 8 a.m. and climb into the mid 60s. There'll be a few peaks at the sun through a lot of clouds throughout the day as temperatures climb close to 70. Here's your seven day forecast. Warmer weather Thursday, better chance of stronger storms as we climb close to 80. Then we get a break on Friday and early Saturday, but then it looks like rain rolls back in here by Saturday afternoon and evening and the flying pig right now looks quite wet. Of course, the timing on that could change, meaning we might be able to sneak the race in between two wetter periods in there, but it certainly looks wet during the day on Sunday, and we might even have to deal with thunderstorms. So that's something to watch as we head towards the weekend. Big old wet pig is what it is. <laughs> right. Right.